In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a project that we had done previously with a little bit different design where we're going to apply the text to the side of our truck here. So we're going to replace Tyler's with a custom name um, for our customer. And we're also going to swap out towing with a different word as well just to give you a good understanding of how to make these types of manipulations quite easily in Corel Draw. So this is a design that you can have and then we can customize the side of the truck with any kid's name that we want. And that of course is what's actually going to sell the design. Uh, anything that we can sell that's customized um, our clients are really going to appreciate. So let me show you how we're going to do this. The first thing we're going to do of course is import the EPS file that you would have downloaded. So whether you purchase the design or part of the, our Design of the Day membership, you'll get an EPS version. So there is the EPS file. Okay, so this is a vector file. And we are going to right click on that and ungroup it. And here, of course, is the existing text. We've got Tyler's here. And so we're going to go ahead and dispose of Tyler's. We don't need that. All right, so there's a lot of different ways to accomplish the same task here inside CorelDRAW. So I'm going to just kind of show you one way of going about it um, that I think probably is the easiest way. All right, so what we're going to do here is we have this piece of the truck. Let's go ahead and just give it a different color so you can see what we're working with. So this is your vector piece of your truck. Um, so what we would do is we would lay down our black right and then you have the orange parts of the truck that we would lay down and of course these gray bits of the truck so it's a three color design um, so what we would do here with this panel of the truck is we would grab our contour tool here in Corel Draw, and we would just click on that and then we can just pull this uh, inside You see that little line and that's going to create a contour okay so now you have this new shape that we just created and then what I would do is I would right click on that and choose break contour group apart. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim away part of the, this new shape that I don't actually want. So what I would do is just come in here, grab a new rectangle. We're going to just draw it wherever we want. And then we just kind of have to decide where we want it to be. And I think I'm going to trim it right there. Okay. Um, you just have to kind of play with it and decide what you want to do. So we select that new rectangle and then we hold our shift key down and select the shape that we want to trim. And then we click on this button right here, which is trim. So now you can see we have this new shape. All right. So what we're doing is we're, we're actually creating a template that we can use over and over again. So here's that new shape. I'm just going to make a copy of it. Now let's go ahead and draw out some text here. And I'm just going to go ahead and type out Mason apostrophe s that's my son's name my youngest son Mason's okay so then what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, change our font so let's come over here to fonts and open up our font manager and I want army font so there's our army font and then we can select Mason's and we can select our shape and choose the text to envelope function here inside easy stone now we don't actually see anything happen here Let's give our shape maybe a different color. And now we can see there is Mason's, right? So now what we can do is very, very easily, we could just take this and position it. And then we can delete our square here. Actually, let's come in here and we'll go to wireframe mode. Maybe we can see it a little bit easier. But just click on our square and get rid of it. And then we will switch back over here to enhance mode. So you can see, very easy to drop in our text there where it says Masons. And then we're going to right click on one of these shapes and drag and choose Copy Fill here to give that uh, back. So very easy to make these changes. So let's just go ahead and try, um, try another name. And this time we'll use my oldest son's name, which is Landon. And we'll go ahead and make it army as well and then we will again we'll select both of those shapes text to envelope and then you can see how it put in Landon's name as well we'll go ahead and go back to our envelope tool and clear out the envelope and we can go ahead and let's just say we want uh, 
I don't know. Um, let's try Joseph's. Okay. And then again, we'll select text to envelope. And you can see how nicely it puts in Joseph's. So very easy to have this template available. And then uh, whatever your customer wants on the side of their truck, you're able to drop that in quite easily. So imagine this blown up big stuck on the wall of the kids room maybe on the front of a toy box I mean there's a lots of different um, types of application of course you could make it small put it on a t-shirt as well so lots of fun things you can do with the different vinyls and heat press materials as well so now what I want to do is I want to do something somewhat similar um, just as as an exercise for you just so you can kind of get a feel and really hone in on this skill and that is we're going to change our, our word towing to be something else. All right. So what I would do is pull down a guideline to the bottom of towing. And then we're going to pull over a guideline this way. And then we're going to pull over a guideline to the edge of towing. And this is just, just for reference. And then we'll pull down a guideline maybe right here at the top of towing. And then we'll pull down a guideline right here to the top of T. And again, these points are just reference points. So let's go ahead and delete towing. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new shape um, and use that as our template. So what we're going to do here is grab our two-point line tool and we're going to snap from intersection to intersection to intersection to intersection. Now we're going to switch tools and go to our three-point curve tool and we're just going to kind of mimic 24-hour towing here. So you can see just like that so now we have our new shape there and if we give it a color you'll be able to see our new shape so there's the new shape so that is the second piece of our template so we'll go ahead and copy that down here so let's go ahead and take our Landon's text let's switch over to our envelope tool here in Corel draw let's go ahead and clear the envelope and then what do we want to put in there well let's um, let's just try fix it Okay, 24 hour fix it. All right, so we have our text. Again, our text is in army font. We're going to select our new shape that we just created and choose that text to envelope tool here in Easy Stone. And again, we don't really see anything happen, but there it is. There's fix it. So now we can take this and this. We'll hit C and E. Now we can't see it because the text was created before the shape. All right, so there's our shape right there. So we can just kind of, uh, we can hit control page down. And what that will do is it'll gradually push our shape down, 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 um, little by little by little. And then, um, but anyhow, you can see we, it looks great. Let's go ahead and delete our shape here. And let's go ahead and right click to get rid of our guidelines. And so now you can see we have 24 hour fix it, Mason's 24 hour fix it. Um, so that is how we can make these little changes and we can definitely sell a lot more product if we have the ability to quickly customize something. Um, we can have this design all done up except for the, the text on the side of the truck and then when the customer comes in and says, hey, I want my kid's name on there, no problem. You're going to be able to knock that out because we have these two custom shapes now. Um, we can leave that as part of our design file. And then any text that we want to slide in there, bam, we're going to be able to slide it in there and personalize this design for our customer. So I hope you enjoy this one. I hope you try it out. And more importantly, I hope you master um, those techniques because they are really that simple. And these have lots and lots and lots of applications. And so we try to show you a bunch of different design ideas of different ways to utilize the same technique. But hopefully this gives you a little bit more insight on working with envelopes uh, with text here inside CorelDRAW.